Dion, where do you stand on Dick Vitale? Dickie V. Huge Dickie V guy. Yeah? I, I, in the house. Diaper dandy, baby. I love that. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> it seems up your alley. I've always been on that side of things as well. I know some people get annoyed with Dickie V, but uh, he, to me, he is college basketball. Growing up, he was college basketball. So there's a soft spot in all of our hearts for Dickie V. Well, Dickie V is still doing his work for ESPN. And as we get closer to the season, we have a lot of preseason content. Dickie V took his stab at his preseason article. You can go through this on ESPN.com. He's got Dickie V's primetime players, his floor generals, his low post enforcers, his Marco Polo team, his Frank Lloyd Wright team. That's how Dickie V broke this down, Dion. So for the sake of today, rather than do it all, uh, I want to dissect Dick Vitale's quote-unquote primetime players, which I think is basically his six players to watch or or his All-American team. There's six players on this group, and uh, some of them are interesting to me. Some of them are obvious. Some of them are interesting to me. Dickie V's primetime players, his PTPers. Number one, Cooper Flagg. Number two, Hunter Dickinson. Number three, R.J. Davis. Number four, Mark Sears. Those are the four betting favorites to win National Player of the Year. I don't think there are any surprises yet. Number five, A.J. Storr from Kansas. Number six, L.J. Cryer from Houston. P.T. Pierce. Your thoughts? He didn't have DeBance on there? DeBance is not in college yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. And so, and may never be in college. <laughs> I'm way too infatuated by AJ DeBanza at the moment. And like, I just couldn't, when we were discussing this and I said diaper dandy, I just was like, okay, so DeBanza is on every list. Like I'm way too infatuated by him at the moment. This is a problem. This is a problem. That would have been the- a good bit though. If Dickie V just included AJ DeBanza <laughs> on his PT Beers list to get ahead of the game, I would love that move. This is also like, we joke that like there's not huge of a difference between me and cartel besides height like this is just another moment like there's <laughs> this is just, this is getting bad um no nah, i mean i listen uh, elliot could do though isn't he on the list he's not on the list <laughs> he's not do, do okay, we need I'm, to... Wait, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong i'm looking at the wrong list I'm are you are you looking list. you might be looking at the floor generals list I, okay i was i was i was okay yeah, That's yeah, we're, we're talking PT Pierce. So basically, Dickie V says these six guys are the guy to watch for like best player in the country. And That's it's on Flag, me. Dickinson, me. Davis, Sears. Those, those are I. Nobody has an issue with those four. But AJ Store and LJ Cryer as his PT Pierce guys. I'm watching. Do you buy that those guys belong here? I don't buy AJ Store in the slightest. No. I think AJ Store might be the most overhyped player in the country. Like, I think if AJ Store was so good and AJ Store was worth all this money, like, why didn't he go to the NBA? Like, in a relatively weak draft class at that. Um, and I, I think that one might bite me in the ass. I also was 100% scrolled way too far down. That's on me. Um, but uh, AJ Store, like, no. LJ Cryer, I can get behind. I just enjoy watching Houston play. So any list that in- includes a Houston player, like I'm I'm going to be supportive of him being on the list. But AJ Store is the most overhyped player in the country. So I think I know why AJ Store didn't go pro. Uh, because AJ Store is a financial mogul, Dion. AJ Store <laughs> has done a great job positioning himself in his career to make money at stops and then try and get to the NBA. But to me, the thing is, if you're not going to get your second contract in the NBA, don't rush to the NBA. And I think AJ Storr's camp is probably realistic about who he is. So let's maximize our money in college before we go get drafted in the second round and fizzle out of the NBA in a couple of years. Um, I was going to go the dif- different direction on this. I-, I think it has swung too negatively on Storr publicly. Uh, I get all the concerns and I think they are fair. Like I don't trust AJ Storr at all. And I get that the Kansas locker room has a lot of mouths to feed and a lot of big personalities. But at the same time, they're clearly the most talented team in the country, unless you want to consider Duke's 18 year old kids that talented. But like to me, Kansas has a bunch of 23 year olds who are hella talented and really good college basketball players. Uh, AJ stores looks really good playing next to Chucky Hepburn and Steven Crowell. Now he's playing next to Dewan Harris, one of the best passers in the country and Hunter Dickinson, who I think is the best big in the country. I think it's telling that a guy like Dick Vitale has two Kansas Jayhawks in his top six. 
And I think Bill Self's track record with wings tells us we should take AJ Store pretty seriously. So I applaud Dickie V for putting AJ Store on his watch list because I don't think it, that's a take nobody else has really put out there. And I think there is some substance behind it. LJ Cryer for Houston is the one that I don't love being included here. I get that you want to include a Houston player because Houston's a really good team. But to me, this would imply LJ Cryer is going to basically step up and do what Jamal Shedd did at Houston. I don't think he's capable of that. I don't think he has that in his game. I think there's a world where Emmanuel Sharp is Houston's best player this year. But even if it is LJ Cryer, to me, those guys are, are kind of interchangeable, you know? Yeah, I could see that. I, but, like, couldn't that same argument be met for be made for AJ Store as well? Like, isn't the whole, like, anybody could be that second person to Hunter Dickinson on that team type of argument? There is. I would personally bet, like, very loudly it's AJ and Hunter leading this team in scoring, though. I mean, definitely in the beginning, right? Like, he didn't go there not to get the shot attempts in the beginning. But, I mean, I yeah. think a as time goes on, they might shift elsewhere, potentially. I don't know. Um, I, I guess I'm just – am I too far out on AJ store? I, I also, like I, – I think the argument of him, like, staying – like, what if he plays bad? Um – I mean, what's bad though? Like he he was so productive at Wisconsin. Yeah, but like, what if he? So you were a borderline second round pick in a bad draft class, right? Like, um, type of guy. What if he plays like it now? The next. Oh, he two might he might not get drafted, but that's I, I I think that's why. If you're one of those guys, why would you not go get paid at college though? See, I think I look the other way to that one. I think like if you're one of those guys that's like borderline, but you have the opportunity now, I think you kind of have to take it and run. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, I guess that's kind of like my brawny argument too, where it's like, <laughs> why if you go to Duke Nice, they might not be there anymore. Like it's a completely different draft class the next two years that I personally wouldn't want to be a part of. And maybe that's why I'm way too far out on store. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Out of these six, who would you bet on? Who is your favorite to win national player of the year? Flag Dickinson um, Davis Sears store crier. Um I am gonna make a pick that Riley's gonna love, and I think everybody's gonna be like, whoa, I think it's RJ Davis. Why? I think he has the most he has the most opportunity I, I to do so. Like I think the rest of the teams have a lot of like there's a lot of mouths to feed, and there is a good amount of mouths to feed on UNC too, but it's very, very, very clearly his team. I'm not sure you can say the same thing about anyone else on the list besides hunter dickinson but there's also aj store on the list too so it's like yeah i think that's the right read uh you i think sears is also very clearly alabama's team but there is more talent around him like grant nelson's really good they've got freshman darian reed might be a superstar so I, i'm with that i think your point's a good one if you buy that rj davis is just going to be who he was last year again that is probably enough to win national player of the year um thought you might make a cooper flag pitch People have been killing me, but I stand by this. I just don't think he's going to care sometimes. I really don't. Yeah. Okay. We'll find out. We'll find yeah. out. Why do I'm, I want I mean, to make a – is it bad of me? Is it bad of me to say that AJ Store is just like AJ DeBanza at home? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Really, ba like really bouncy wing with chemistry concerns named AJ? Is that like a is that a debance of slight or a store like hype? I think it's store hype. I think I could get behind it more if it's a debance of slight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me workshop this for a couple more weeks. We'll get this ready for the season. <laughs>